Hey guys, what's good? It's me, Jay Lee. You're watching Jay Lee Sees, and today, Jay Lee Sees The Walking Dead Season 4, Episode 10. I just want to take a quick moment to just relish in how proud of myself I am. I pledged you guys four episodes this week, and I was able to achieve it. All while working, doing this business course of a night time, which by the way is boring as hell. And whilst living out my best life, and producing new content for a brand new channel that I'm setting up this month. And I don't even necessarily feel too stretched thin. I think it's because as the summer comes to a close, my social calendar opens up a little bit more, so I have a bit more time on my hands. And traditionally in my life, throughout fall and winter, I tend to hibernate because I don't like the cold and I don't like the rain. So if I've been uploading this frequently throughout the summer, just imagine what I'm going to be like when I've got more time on my hands. Basically what I'm trying to say is I'm super proud of myself and I'm super excited for the rest of the year and what it can bring when it comes to my YouTube. Now that that self gratifying speech is out of the way, let's get straight into this episode, shall we? Before we start, I just want to let everybody know the footage we're about to see does not belong to me, it belongs to AMC. But without further ado, episode 10, lights, camera, action. Lori's baby's just about due. She'll need a safe place when it comes. And I'm going to write this down now because you should write down wishes to make them come true. We can live here. Oh. We can live here for the rest of our lives. Shit. And it didn't work out that way. Because I think after what the governor's just done, we obviously, we saw Rick, Carl and Michonne leave. But the prison was kind of left in disrepair. I mean, it got fucked up by a tank. How do you come back from that? So I think maybe everybody's left. It gives me a lot of um, comfort knowing that Daryl and Beth are together. We should do something. We aren't the only survivors. We can't be. I was going to say, how is everyone split up there? Rick, Michelle, they could be out here. Maggie and Glenn could have made it out of A-Block. They could have. Did they all go their separate ways in the carnage and just not look back and hope for the best? Oh my god, if they've all split up and they've got no way of communicating with each other, how are they ever going to find each other again? All of these guys, their storylines might be separate for... a long time, really. Could be Luke's. Or Molly's. Whoever they are means they're alive. Who the hell is Luke and who the hell is Molly, babe? This means they were alive four or five hours ago. They're alive. They picked up the pace right here. Got out in a hurry. Things went bad. Wouldn't kill you to have a little faith. Yeah, faith. Faith ain't done shit for us. Just hell didn't do nothing for your father. <gasps> oh. She's delicate and fragile, and so am I, Daryl. Use some tact. And talking of that, do you know what? I was kind of secretly hoping that Beth had somehow recovered Judith. But considering there was no baby involved in these scenes, I kind of hope we stay on these two characters the whole episode, you know? I would love to get some more character development from them. I feel like I hardly even know Beth. <laughs> Please! Oh, see, now I worry that it's gonna be a Daryl and Beth centric episode because what if it might get hurt? Shoes. Well, not your personal shoe, but your group shoe. <laughs> oh, she's finally crying. Good babes, don't bottle it up. She said earlier on in the season she don't cry no more, and I thought that's kind of unhealthy. Um, but yeah, let it out, babes. 
You've got a lot to cry over. <laughs> Don't cry. Okay, hang about. It's not a Daryl and Beth centric episode. My little Lizzie's here too. Oh, and her sister. It's gonna get dark soon. And Tyrese, okay. Good, I feel more confident. Oh! Yes! And Judith! Oh, I'm so glad she is alive. I forgot what I was even saying before Judith was um, reintroduced to us. Something that I'm glad that Tyrese is looking after all these girls. Come on. Come on. Oh, I heard it, Mika. Don't yell at her. She doesn't understand Walter. You're the one who doesn't understand them. All right, girls. Calm the hell down. Tyrese is probably like, how did I get left with a bunch of infant girls? Bloody hell. left the baby. Oh no, Tyrese is older now. I was thinking, what the hell is going on? Mika, can you get back here please? This is not the time or day or place in the world to get separated. I'm sorry. I know I'm not like Lizzie. Don't be sorry. You each do things your own way, but you both get it done. Like you and Sasha? You're not like Sasha. Why not? Because you're still here and Sasha isn't. Oh, Lizzie, fucking hell, love. Stay like this and keep watching. You're leaving us? They may be from the prison. I need to help them. We need you. Mika, tuck your shirt behind your knife so it's easier to grab. We'll be okay. Yeah, yeah mate, Lizzie is gangster. She can't fuck anyone up. She is. Unless it's a walker, and then she can't befriend them. Mika should be left old in the baby and Lizzie should be old in the gun. Oh, humans! Are they from the prison? I don't know. But they are by train tracks and that's important because Daryl and Beth were near train tracks earlier, so then near train track. <laughs> Not stopping. Please, Lizzie, do something. They're gonna hear us! Oh no, that is not what you do! Lizzie, please. Let your brain catch up to your hand. Lizzie? Oh shit. Well, it didn't matter who these bitches were. Girls! Yeah, look, they're done and dusted, Tyrese. So ain't no helping them. Go back to the girls. Tyrese. Oh my gosh! Carol! Oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh wait, this is such an awkward situation. Because she went and killed Karen, didn't she? There's a place up the tracks. It's safe. You can you can take the children there. Oh, really? Trust me. Oh, real random stranger. Thank you. Follow the tracks. <sighs> oh, and Daryl and Bethany are tracks too. Everyone should follow the tracks. I mean, everyone obviously doesn't have the same memo. It doesn't know to do that. But I'm telling you guys. So listen. <laughs> and I just left that man who gave him all this information to just die slowly. Drama. I didn't see you get out. I thought you... I wasn't there. I hadn't gotten back yet. I saw you running into the woods. You were far away. I lost you, but... You found us. I knew you would. Oh, this is so cute. Sanctuary for all, community for all. Those who arrive, survive. Permanent. Well, what else, what other kind of job do we have? 
Let's go. We don't have a choice. I don't know how much I trust this place, because every place that's meant to be a sanctuary, plot twist, is not a sanctuary. But if all of them, if all of our groups go there, at least then they can um, reassemble, and then we'll go, Ah, oh, Maggie! I hope you're with Glenn. Oh, and Sasha, and Bob. But I don't see Glenn. Hey, who's going to meet us, Sasha? We don't know if anybody got out. No. We do. Got the water to our backs. Decent vantage points from the bank. I'm thinking we camp here for the night. That's good. I do think Maggie's going to really, really struggle with the loss of her father because they were, like, really close. The bus got out. Glenn got out. I'm going to find him. Maggie. Oh, shit. So she's not with Glenn. I'm going. Please, probably all okay. You said it. Can't split up. And then hopefully you guys find some train tracks too. So Glenn was on the bus. I don't really remember in all the carnage where everyone was when it all fucking kicked off. Well, if they think he's on the bus, then he obviously was on the bus. Oh, shit! Well, definitely won't be on a bus anymore. Maggie, stop. Maggie, Maggie. I have to know if he's in there. I have to be here. I need to see their faces. Oh, no. I hope we don't see Glenn's face. <laughs> okay. You, sir, are not Glenn. None of them were Glenn, so to me that's a good thing. Unless they feasted on him. Because sometimes they do that, don't they? Sometimes there is no body to turn into a walker, because the walkers, they get hungry. she go into hysterics? Was that Glenn? No, here's Glenn! Oh my god, I get so confused. So where the fuck are you, sir? <gasps> Is he still in the prison? Is this the prison? Baggy? Oh, no, sir. You need to be caught up and quick. Everyone's gone, mate. They thought you were on a bus. Everybody's gone, Glenn. It all happened around you while you were like, recovering from the plague. He's the only one that's alone. He's like, well, what the fuck do I do now? Uh. Actually, to be fair, Glenn's 
probably more prepped than everyone else because he was able to, um, well, yeah, he was able to gather loads of stuff, weren't he, before he's disembarked on his solo journey. I just don't like the idea of him being on his own. That's so sad. But he has, like, oh, my God, he looks so cool there, though. But he has, like, zero information on anybody's well-being. At least other people know that some people are all right. Tara! I didn't think she made it out. To be fair, I completely forgot about her until we just saw her again. It's full. Did you even fire a shot? Alright, let's go. Let's go! Yeah, that means she's good. If she didn't fire a shot, then she obviously didn't want to. She was just caught up with the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong kind of people. Back up. Fire! Are they like little moths? Yeah, they go straight for the flame. Idiots. You ready? So I think Tara, she's either going to die this episode, or she's going to become quite a significant character. Because why did they let her survive the massacre? Hmm? Hmm. Did you see if any of my people got out? All I saw was my sister in that field. She wasn't supposed to be there. She had a gun, but they just swarmed her. She wasn't supposed to be there. I did it for him. Oh, I trusted him. Shit, she's the only survivor. And then survivor. he just killed that old man. Herschel? Yeah! Oh, Glenn, you missed all babes! Wait, was his name Herschel? Yeah. Brian, that man told us you were bad people. I know it's not true. But I can see it's not. So what we did, what I did, Oh man, I'm a piece of shit. I have to find Maggie. Who's Maggie? Herschel's daughter. She's my wife. She got out, so you're gonna help me find her. Yeah, come on. Team up. Train tracks. Terminus. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> time for napping. But I'm like that. Once I do anything that's going to raise my heartbeat a little bit, maybe produce a little bit of sweat, I just need to reward myself with a nap immediately. Hope you enjoyed the show, assholes! Who are you, bitches? You got a damn mouth on you, you know that? What else you got? No! I bet they're the new fucking enemies. Because we don't have one, innit? Okay, guys, so that episode is done and dusted. Let's talk about it. Our squad got separated. So, the prison is officially no more. Everyone's out of there. Potentially, probably, never to return again. We have certain groups. We've got Beth and Daryl. They are together. Sasha, Bob and Maggie, they're all together. Although not appearing in this episode, we know that Carl, Rick and Misha are together. Glenn and Tara are together, but right at the end there, <gasps> we found out they were not alone and there were some other people involved and they didn't look very good and look very welcoming and inviting. So I feel like I'm going to be on edge with those bitches, wherever they may be. And then we have Tyrese, Mika and Lizzie and to my shock and delight they also have Judith and Carol and I'd already said my goodbye to them so the fact that they reappeared really made me happy and now we just need to get everyone to um meet up and reconvene again 
But it's easier said than done because we're living in a world where we don't have no Facebook or no way of messaging each other. Be like, hey, do you want to meet up at Costa? But what we do know from Tyrese and Carol's group is if they keep following the train tracks that everyone seems to be around, they are going to go to a place, I think it's called Terminus, I saw that word on a sign, but basically it's a safe sanctuary for all. Do I believe it's going to be a safe sanctuary for all? Hell no, I do not believe that. But at least that could be a good meeting point for everyone. Everyone could get back together and then we can come up with our next step there. But like I said, with these three newcomers at the end that approach Tara and Glenn, um, I feel like they may be some kind of obstacle in our way. And I've got to find out how we're going to navigate that. If you will be with me as we find out how we are going to navigate that and you haven't done so already, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And down in the comment section, I want to know if we had to be with a particular group for an entire episode, so they have a whole episode-centric episode, which which team would you want to be following? I said it in the beginning, well, I actually thought it was going to be the case. I would love to see more of Daryl and Beth. But I want to know your opinions, so sound off down below. And until next time, Lord God, stay safe out there.